Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Amit Lunkar and today going to discuss on topic structure activity relationship of estrogen. Estrogens play a crucial role in various biological processes and understanding their SAR can help us to grasp how different structural modification influence their activity and potency. Whether you are a student or just someone curious about hormones, this video will provide valuable insights to you. So let's get started and explore how the structure of these vital hormones shapes their function in the body. Estrogen are a class of steroid hormones that play a vital role in the development and function of the reproductive system. There are three major endogenous estrogens that have estrogenic hormonal activity and these are estrone, estradiol, estriol. So these estrone which are produced by adrenal glands and fatty tissues which are produced after menopause, whereas estradiol which produce mainly in ovaries. The estriol typically known as estrogen of pregnancy and which are present in small amount when non-pregnant. So now here we discuss about the structural features of estrogens. It having a steroidal nucleus. Estrogens belongs to the steroidal hormone family which characterized by a four ring structure. Here we give name to that ring A, B, C, D ring. This co-structure is shared by all steroidal hormones and provides a foundation for their biological activity. Uh, one more structural feature is having an aromatic ring. This ring A, which is an aromatic one, having presence of hydroxy group to the third position. So this aromatic ring, which contributes to their potent activity, and this aromatic ring with its conjugated double bond makes estrogen more soluble in fats and lipids. Now about the structural activity relationship. Here is the structure with its numbering. So this estrogen which are having a 18 carbon. First point is steroidal nucleus which is not necessary for estrogenic activity. Many constituents of plant like gensine, cumestrol not having steroidal nucleus but possess estrogenic activity. So as such there is not requirement of this steroidal nucleus. Moving to the second point, the estradiol which is not effective orally due to rapid metabolism in liver but placement of 17 alpha alkyl group like ethanyl group at carbon 17 position increases the resistance to metabolic inactivation and make compound orally active. So here if you replace the hydrogen by ethanyl in ethanyl group then it becomes a metabolically stable. Similarly, methylation of third hydroxyl group make the compound orally active. So here when this hydrogen if you replace by a methyl group it also becomes a orally active. Example ester and all. Ester derivatives like acetate, benzoate of the naturally occurring and synthetic estrogens have prolonged action. Similarly, here if you replace the hydrogen by acetate or benzoate, it having a prolonged action. Insertion of hydroxyl group at carbon number 6, carbon number 7 and carbon number 11 reduces estrogenic activity. Aromatic ring with third hydroxyl group which is very essential for activity. Alkylation of the aromatic ring decreases the activity. 
epimerization of 17 beta hydroxyl decreases the activity introduction of the double bond in ring b also decreases the activity so a therapeutic application of this estrogen sar first is for hormone replacement therapy estrogen sar studies have led to selective estrogen receptor modulators for hydrogen hormone replacement therapy and these drugs target specific estrogen receptors and offering targeted treatment with fewer side effects for contraceptives estrogen sar has been essential in developing effective oral contraceptives scientists have created synthetic estrogens with tailored properties for contraception for can cancer treatment estrogen antagonists like fluvestran treat estrogen sensitive cancers these drugs block estrogen receptors preventing tumor growth and progression other applications like estrogen sar research has led to therapies for osteoporosis cardiovascular disease and congestive decline these hormones have broad therapeutic potential so here we discuss about the structural activity relationship different types of estro estrone so hope all of you are getting this thank you happy learning